Hi guys, welcome back. Friday, 80s. Some great music. And it kind of gave it a shock to me because I was looking at this album. And the album we're looking at today, Lionel Richie's uh, Can't Slow Down. I had this on cassette. And if you've been watching the show for any length of time, you know my cassettes are somewhere. I haven't located them. And just recently again acquired hard copy vinyl. Gatefold. Open it up. Unfortunately, not a lot of information there. I just uh, shot a Lionel. But the record sleeve did come with a lot of details. So yeah, there is a lot of reading on here. Now, short version of it, 1983. Probably Lionel's biggest selling or best selling album. Four, uh, four hits on the album that got a lot of airplay. I mean, we're into video era at this point, 1983. Um, some excellent players. I went down the list and you look at some of the uh, classic studio players that we talk about from Los Angeles. And I'm just looking at the brass section, but we've got Jerry Hay playing trumpet. And Jerry Hay often had his own Jerry Hay horn section. But some of the guys that usually play with him, Gary Grant, another great trumpet player there, and Chuck Finley. So we've got three top L.A. trumpet players backing him up, as well as Bill Reichenbach doing uh, trombone. And, you know, we've mentioned Bill's name with uh, so many bands, so many studio jobs. Um, again, these guys are just great players. And to hear them and know that was them playing on there, I mean, that was great. When I had the cassette, I didn't have any of the information. Something I gleaned from uh, having a little different uh, version of the album. And, again, I'm one of those ones that like to see who's playing on the session. And I do follow a lot of these session players. So that was a real treat. Uh, album, what do we got on the album here? Can't, can't Slow Down, All Night Long, both of those big singles for him. Um, him. Penny Lover, Stuck on You. I mean, it sounds like a greatest hits album, doesn't it? Love Will Find a Way, The Only One, Running With the Night, and again, one of his big, big hits, Hello. I mean, he left the Commodores. This, I think, was maybe his second album that came out after, uh, I think the other first one was maybe just called Lionel Richie. But a big, big hit. And what struck me as odd, they did the 20th anniversary that they put out with extra songs and everything else. I thought, well, isn't that great? I wonder if it's still around. I'm realizing now we're a year away from 40th anniversary of this album, right? 1983, 40 years ago next year. I have no idea where the time went. If you ask me, I would have thought it was maybe five, six years ago I bought this album. But apparently I'm in some kind of time warp that I've lost uh, 40 years somewhere, and I think it's still the uh, 1980s. Uh, great album. Stands up well. I mean, I'm listening to some of the tunes now, and it really takes you back. But it, it doesn't sound dated. It's good, good music. Some great hits on there. Some great players. And... Again, if you're lucky enough to get a hard copy, there's a lot of neat information in there. If you don't, hey, try the streaming networks. Remember, though, there are a number of different streaming networks out there, and they don't all pay the artists the same amount. So if you're looking to listen or subscribe, shop around a bit. Make sure the artists get a, a good paycheck out of this. It's not just for the, the streaming networks. Lionel Richie, great way to kick off your weekend. You can't help but dance when you hear this, right? It's going to make you happy. It's going to pick up your spirits. It's going to be a great tune to kick off the weekend with. Great album. Can't slow down. 1983, 40 years ago. Take a trip back in the past and enjoy it. See you on Monday. We'll be back again with uh, jazz. Till then, everybody have a great weekend. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.